Hey guys, TC here. Welcome back to my channel. Got something cool for you guys today. This is a new watch that I got for Boxing Day. I'm a big watch fan, uh, watch collector. I used to own the Michael Hill 9423, which are quite hard to find now. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So this is the Citizen EcoDrive. Um, it's the 8700 Diamond version. It is a perpetual calendar with leap year functions, um, and it's also got an alarm. So the way that uh, EcoDrive watches work is the uh, the face is like a solar panel. Um, I guess is the best way to explain it, and it's uh, battery operated. So this isn't a full mechanical watch. Um, it's also got well, it's a perpetual calendar watch. It's got um, a day, date, month, leap year. Um, it's got a 24-hour clock up here. Uh, these, are, This is the functions dial. It's got a local time. Um, you can set a, a, a different time zone in it as well. Um, and it's also got uh, diamonds on the bezel. So this is a watch that... Um, I bought my friends, a lot of my friends are getting married, uh, and I want it for, you know, weddings and things like that, um, because it is an eco drive and not a full mechanical watch that keeps the cost down for, uh, like you get a lot of, uh, you get a lot of functions for quite inexpensive, um, but the offset of that is, uh, that, they don't really appreciate in value like um, mechanical watches do. So what I mean by appreciation is if you buy something as an investment, it can either appreciate or depreciate. So often things like, say, a car will depreciate in value. So once you buy it, the price goes down when you want to sell it. Um, with a watch, though, they're quite good investments. Um, so with a watch, generally a mechanical watch, um, one that uh, is, is sought after, you know, there's lots of factors. Maybe I can do a video on it one day. But a watch will generally appreciate in value. So you find watches um, that you could buy, six, uh, like 60 years ago, you could have bought a watch for $100.00. And that same watch nowadays will sell for 60000 because it appreciates in value. So a watch like this will depreciate in value, but it won't depre depreciate by very much. But it's a really nice watch to wear. So here are a couple of my other watches. This is a uh, Casio G-Shock. I've got two of these. Um, one of them uh, broke, and so I bought this one. And this is like my daily sports driver, you know, I wear this to the gym, wear this in the outdoors, it's just like a, it's a pretty indestructible watch, my last one lasted me for like seven years, something like that, so I just bought another one that's exactly the same, um, and I, I keep um, all my watches on their cases, but these are a few coins that I found metal detecting while wearing this watch, uh, these are solid silver, these ones, so um, this is a 1937 New Zealand shilling, and this is a 1854 um, UK threepence with the uh, the small head of Queen Victoria there. I believe it's Queen Victoria. I don't know much about the coins. Yeah, it is. It's Queen Victoria head, um, and this one's quite rare apparently, so that's cool. Um, yeah, but those, those are just some coins I found metal detecting. Um, here's another watch that I wear. Uh, I, I don't actually like this very much, but I got it as a gift, um, so I, I keep it, I, I'm not going to sell it. This is just a Casio uh, day date, um, it's got like the dial and the hands and the um, like the colours of it are really nice, but when you're like a watch guy, like a watch collector, um, you know, you, you're, you're looking for things like this, you know what I mean, like I want to wear this side by side, look at, look at the difference. But um, yeah, so I'll show you kind of how, how this watch works. So you get um, you get the the hour hand here, the minute hand here, and this is the second hand, just like any normal watch you'd think. But this uh, top left dial here, that's the 24-hour clock. So uh, you can tell if it's past the 12, it's in the afternoon, if it's uh, 
between the 24 and the 12 it's in the morning um so it that that's like really easy to convert to a moon phase so you can get moon phase versions of um of watches similar to this but this one is the the 24 hour version um my camera's having some trouble focusing but that's all right this um this right hand well, dial here this uh down the bottom the on and off that tells you whether your alarm is on or off so if i hold this button here it moves a hand you can only just see it because the minute ends uh covering it but that moves the hand to off which tells me my alarm is off um this this dial beside it that is the the day so um it, it again it's been covered by the minute hand here but it is a thursday down here's the date that number three there it's the third of january but down here this is the uh the cool part this is the functions um dial so this tells me what function the watch is in currently so it's currently showing the time but if i um pull out the crown here and i know this isn't the way to treat this watch but i'm filming in one hand and i'm using the watch in the other so we're just gonna have to deal with it i bought this as a daily driver so if you pull the uh the functions um uh, the crown or whatever it's called um i forget while i'm filming i'm not good on the spot guys uh if you pull it out halfway you can move the function hand. so see how it's moving there so that's the calendar alarm there local time we'll go back to standard time go to calendar and you click it in and the second hand will tell you what month it is so you see it points to january that tells me it is january so that's how you use the calendar function on this watch pull it out again halfway again i have to put it down to do this and we move the function to the alarm click it in and the minute hand and the uh hour hand will go to what time the alarm is set for then i can turn the alarm on and off using this um which i'm not going to do and it's going to waste all of the uh all of my time taking the the hand around and the last one is just local time for um if you go overseas and you want to set a different time zone um so that's really cool it's going to tick around to it now so basically um the uh the diamonds in this watch allow me to if i ever need to uh resell it um one thing that a lot of people will wear a watch for say like drug dealers and things like that they'll wear a watch because um if they get caught the police can only confiscate money that you've got on you and they can only freeze your bank accounts so if you're wearing um jewelry like a watch and you get out of prison or, or whatever you can usually sell it and uh, get yourself back into uh, drug dealing now that's not why i have this watch but this is one reason why this watch is going to hold its value with these diamonds i only expect to probably lose a couple hundred dollars on this um they're new zealand dollars too so yeah that's that's my uh my citizen watch um i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little bit of a improv video uh today but i just want to get back into the video making um do some vlogs for you guys and uh see where this channel goes um so yeah thumbs up if you enjoyed if you want to see more watches you want me to go into more detail with uh watches i'm going to be buying a lot of them during the year um it's one of my resolutions to get a good watch collection and uh if you want me to go into um uh, well into any other sort of videos that you've enjoyed watching my channel just uh flick me a comment thanks guys